Welcome to Rainforest Ology. This is Miss Pat. Sorry we can't be together today, but hopefully you will enjoy your tour through the rainforest and all the animals you will see. Enjoy! What are rainforests? Rainforests are lush, warm, wet habitats. Trees in the rainforest grow very tall because they have to compete with other plants for sunlight. Kapok trees, which are found in tropical rainforests around the world, can grow up to 200 feet. There are two types of rainforests, temperate and tropical. On this map, you can see the tropical rainforests are areas in green. Tropical rainforests are areas near the equator because it is very hot. The rainforest has four layers. The emergent layer is made up of the very tallest trees. In the next layer, the canopy, the leaves and the branches of the trees all touch one another or are connected by vines. Most animals in the rainforest live in the canopy. The layer below the canopy is called the understory and the last layer is the forest floor where only a few plants grow because it is dark. Here again are the four layers of the rainforest. Notice the variety of animals you see. Which layer does your favorite animal live in? Why are rainforests so important? One reason is biodiversity. There are many different species of animals that live in the rainforest. Many of the plants in the rainforest are used to create medicines. 80% of the world's diet originated or began from rainforest plants. Rainforests are called the lungs of the world because of all the plants much oxygen is created. The rainforest trees can stop the erosion and flooding and there are many indigenous people who depend on the rainforest for their survival. We just learned that 80% of our diet originated from the rainforest. Do you recognize any of the foods that you see? Take time to read more about them, especially the bubblegum. Rainforest animals. There are many unique species of animals that live in the rainforest. Let's learn about a few of them. The very poisonous and dangerous dart frogs live in the rainforest of Central and South America. Stay away from those guys. When it is startled, the green basilisk lizard of Central America can run across the water's surface without sinking. Bonobos appear to smile when they're stressed, but also when they're playing. These endangered African apes are only found in the Congo Basin. Trees in Washington State's whole rainforest can live to be a thousand years old. This is the only rainforest found in North America. The kinkajou lives in rainforest from Mexico down to South America. It uses its long tongue to reach inside beehives and flowers to retrieve tasty snacks. It also has a prehensile tail, meaning it can hang from branches. In northern Brazil, we will find the largest rainforest, the Amazon rainforest. It is dominated by the Amazon River and the jungles that surround it. The colorful red-eyed tree frog is mostly bright green, with many other colors mixed in. Mountain gorillas live in the lush forests of Central Africa. 
These critically endangered apes can climb trees but are usually found on the ground. Sloths sleep up to 20 hours a day and are native to the tropical forests of Central and South America. When light hits the rainbow boa in its home of Central and South America, its scales show bright colors that change at different angles. This allows it to camouflage itself better. The spectral tarsier is a nocturnal animal that uses its huge eyes to see in the dark. This is not a zebra. It is called anocopy. When the sunlight filters through the dense forest of Central Africa, anocopy's stripes help it blend in among the trees. It is related to a giraffe. The chameleon has a long, sticky tongue that it uses to catch insects to eat. It changes colors if scared or to match its surroundings. The red wakari is a short-tailed monkey found in the Amazon rainforest of South America. It uses its strong jaws to eat fruit with hard outer shells that other monkeys can't eat. The powerful jaguar likes to swim and is a good tree climber. It hunts at night for a wide range of prey, including deer, reptiles, and aquatic animals. The keel billed toucan's bill is lightweight and used to grab fruit, insects, and even eggs from other birds. Could this be Toucan Sam? Found in South America, anacondas are one of the longest snakes in the world. They squeeze and suffocate their prey and swallow them whole. Anacondas have been known to swallow large animals such as deer and jaguars. If you ever saw the movie Rio, you might have seen this bird. The blue and yellow macaw in South America uses its large hooked beak for eating fruit and for climbing in the canopy. Liana vines are found throughout tropical rainforests. They can grow to be 3,000 feet long. You might see Tarzan swinging on these. Unfortunately, these beautiful rainforests are in danger. There are many threats to them. Deforestation is where trees are chopped down and not replanted. Farms and plantations and ranches need to clear the land in order for the people to use. Logging, mining, and oil are using the resources of the land. Development creating roads and dams in order for the people who live there to move around. Humans are also a big threat. Many are poachers and try to kill the animals and sell their skins or their horns. We need to protect them. Everyone can help. Even though we do not live near a rainforest, our choices affect the environment. Here are some ideas. Try to buy food from local farmers. This will stop support for food producers who cre whose farms were created by deforestation. Walk or bike to nearby places. This helps keep the air clean. Remember the phrase, reduce, reuse, recycle? Let's see if we can make less waste. Avoid buying furniture made of rosewood, ebony, or mahogany. These woods are obtained from tropical rainforests. Research and learn more about rainforests and ways you can help. Rainforests are in a lot of trouble but there is still hope. When people work together, 
and everyone does their part, damage can be reversed. The remaining force will be protected. The entire planet will benefit. Explore the rainforest and learn more. If you click on the National Geographic Kids symbol, it will take you to their rainforest website. Scroll part way down and you can watch the movie Destination World. Look for the picture of the sloth and click on the arrow when you get to that page. Explore the rest of the page and see what more you can learn about the rainforest. Let's see if you can make a red-eyed tree frog. If you have a printer, print this slide. If you do not have a printer, see if you can trace or draw the parts of the tree frog. Here are the instructions to put your tree frog together. You can color the frog first. You can paint them, use markers, crayons, cut out all the pieces, glue the eyes, nose and mouth to the head. You may wish to just draw on the nose and the m mouth, glue the head to the body and then the back legs on the back of the body and you have created your tree frog. You may want to create a Save the Rainforest poster. Glue your tree frog to a piece of paper and decorate it and add a message about protecting the rainforest. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Sorry we couldn't do it in person, but when we are able to get together again, stop in and tell me what you thought of the presentation and I will have a packet for you about the rainforest. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.